Hi Scorpio, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and I am here to do your reading for November 4th through the 11th. So keep in mind that the timing is fluid. This may resonate whenever, at any time, and this reading might not be for you. This is for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. We're just going to see whatever comes up. I focus on love and relationships, so if you're looking for... Uh, you know, money. We'll see if it comes up, but that's not my focus. <laughs> well, that looks pretty good, doesn't it, Scorpio? There's an opportunity for new love here. New love. Ooh, perhaps with a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Somebody that's stable, secure, solid, um, grounded, calm. This person's a hard worker, very nurturing, caring, loyal. That's a golden opportunity right there. It really is. The dog is the loyalty. There's loyalty here. New love with somebody perhaps that, you know, is very nurturing. You might have to move, make a move, though, because this is making a move by yourself. In many decks, the Six of Swords has other people in it. This is by yourself, on your own. you got to make a move. you got to do something. It's like you got to head in a new direction away from the current problems, okay? You need to move away from the... uncomfortable spot that you're in you know the waves you need to move out of these waves to the calmer waters right but it looks like you're still holding on to something tightly what is it and I don't need an explanation below when I ask these questions but somebody is holding on to something very tightly and it could be is something that you think is secure, but it's maybe not as secure as you hoped. I don't know. Yeah, there's some emotional disappointment here. Loss. Maybe you need to let go of some sort of loss. Okay, because you have two, two up the two of cups right here are still available. Another opportunity. You have another opportunity for love, but you're you're holding on to some hurt. You are, instead of just accepting a new offer or making the move or heading towards a new offer, you're still focusing on some emotional disappointment. But you do have another opportunity for love here. All you got to do is pick it up, take it. You're still grieving the loss of something else, holding on to it. You were involved in a false contract, right? You do. You were. When this card comes up, it signifies that you have another opportunity. Somebody that's better suited for you, but right now you're not accepting it. You're not seeing it even because you're still in, involved in this emotional disappointment that you can't quite let go of yet. There could even be a split or a divorce or something on the horizon with somebody that you need to move away from. Absolutely. Absolutely. This is the Hierophant. This is a divorce or a split. End of a commitment. End of a false contract, okay? This contract is no more. And it's up, you have to move it on your own. Move on your own. Make that move. But you need to believe and have faith and trust that you can let go. Have faith and trust that you will find peace again. You're going to get to those peaceful waters. You are. You got to do is keep paddling. Keep paddling. You'll get there. You gotta paddle away from this connection that is not compatible anymore. Right now, you're probably not mastering your emotions very well. You may be really upset. You may be detaching, withdrawing, unable to communicate at all. Maybe you're just like, you know, this is too much for me. I can't master my emotions right now. I'm upset. You're upset, right? You're upset. 
and it's because you may, you may, maybe you've lost your focus. Maybe you're afraid to start at zero, you know? But this is, it's, it's you know, maybe you're hoping for some sort of apology. You're not going to get it. You've been blocking, or right now you're blocking your own peace and serenity by holding on to something that doesn't really... It's going nowhere. You need to let it go. You're holding on to an obsession. And right now there's anger. There is absolutely some anger. And you're probably still watching this other person or they're watching you. There's there's like stalking going on. That's not helping you. It's not helping you. It's like... You're dealing with some conflict right now that you have an opportunity to, to not engage, but you have to take make that move to not engage. You know what I mean? You're dealing with, with somebody that is causing some animosity within you. But like I said, you do have a new opportunity. You do. You really, really, really do. But you got to see. Okay, we have the Ace of Wands. This is a passionate new beginning. It's pointing up here at this person. It's with a, It's with this person, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. That's who it's with. You have a new opportunity for love, emotional support. I mean, passion, uh, growth, fertility. But unfortunately, in between these two cards is the Five of Cups. You can't see the opportunity because you're still reeling from some sort of pain. And it's causing you to retreat and go within and just not even realize that you have something that's better suited for you. There's no doubt about it. No doubt. So you guys do have a passionate new beginning here. You really, really, really do. But you need, this is freedom. The Ten of Swords reversed. It's, per, it's per, a card of personal freedom and liberation. That's what it means. Once you truly move away and liberate yourself from this situation that has left you bleeding, another card after you move out of this situation and follow your intuition and head down that new path but you're restricting it so much you're being called to move on but you're you're restricting you're not doing it and that that's why it's like you're stuck your intuition is telling you to do something but you're not listening you're not listening these two you're not listening Why? This is this is like fear of the unknown. It really is. I don't dare to go down that new path, so I'm going to stay right where I'm at. When you know deep down that you do need to go, that you do need to break free, but you're scared to start over. Oh, my God. But you're going to get what you deserve once you make that move. I think there's a divorce. I do. I think there's a divorce or a breakup. There may be some legal issues, and maybe that's why you're so scared. I don't know. But this is an opportunity for you to get what you deserve, to bring balance back to your life, balance and harmony. This is their journey to balance and harmony. That's what you're going to get. I should have just, I can't believe that didn't come to me. But they come when they're supposed to come. The messages come as they're supposed to come. This right here is making a final decision 
to do what's right for you. That's what you have to do to get what you deserve. To bring balance back to your life. You have to move on from something. That's In many decks, this card is labeled moving on. The Six of Swords. You know you need to do it. <coughs> but it's like... For some reason, you're, you're blocking it. You're blocking this move because you're afraid. You're afraid to start over. You're afraid that there won't be victory and success. That's lack of confidence right there. But that's also lack of self-respect. It's a lack of respect. You have to respect yourself for other people to respect you. Another six, and it's reversed. This is... By you not making a move, you will not find the peace and harmony that you deserve. That you deserve. I gotta take a drink, excuse me. You're hurting yourself. You are hurting yourself. Uh-oh. You're holding on to a dead-end situation. You are holding on to a dead-end situation. That's what the meaning of the card is. When it is absolutely, positively time for a transformation, it is time for a transition, it is time for a move, it is time for a new beginning. And you do have an opportunity for love and passion with that could lead to something very exciting, a brand new adventure. Somebody is interested in you. But perhaps you don't know your worth. Or you don't know what this person is worth. Somebody doesn't see somebody's worth here. There's lack of growth because somebody doesn't want to accept this situation. They don't want to deal with the pain to receive that miracle. Here's the pain right here, the Five of Cups. And this is not dealing with the pain. you got to go through the pain, accept the pain, feel the pain, and allow this birth to happen. You're going through a transformation, a rebirth, and it's happening. You might as well accept it and give birth to the new, right? Holding on to whatever this dead-end situation isn't the right thing to do. When you deserve so much more. You're stuck. 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 The hey man. Stuck. Uh, resisting change. Fear of the unknown again. And you have to take a risk at this point. It is time to take a risk. And it is going to be a struggle. And right now, you are struggling to let go. Sorry about that. Let me just turn this right off. I thought it was off. I usually leave it off. Oh, I made the mistake of turning it on. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> anyway. You're stuck. You're going to die there? You want to die alone? I mean, is that a crow? What the hell? You have an opportunity for stability and security after one situation completes. There's a completion, a move here. This is a completion. Many people don't mention it. They think, you know, it is abundance. Yes, it is abundance, but it's after that birth. It's after that birth. You will find happiness, stability, security again. With somebody that is loyal, not that the other person wasn't loyal, I don't know. But you will, and you have an opportunity right now. This is new, brand new, okay? You have a new opportunity for a new partnership that can lead to something really, really stable, secure, and long-term. 
But you have to make a move first. You have to get unstuck. <coughs> Face your fears. But you're blocking. You're delaying. You're delaying getting your justice. You're de delaying getting what you deserve by hanging on to uh, hanging on to a dead end situation, refusing to transition. This is a transition upright. It's a transformation. Refusing. I'm too scared. Blocking it. <laughs> Stalling. Stalling. Maybe it's because of the security it once held. Maybe it's because of the assets if you're married. What am I going to lose? Doesn't matter what you lose. Because in the end, you're going to find love. And a passionate new partner. So this is what you want. It is. And whoever that's coming into your life has the golden opportunity, has money. This person's a hard worker. Whoever's coming into your life is a hard worker. And they're going to put in effort, and it's not going to be a one-sided situation. It's going to lead to happiness. But you do have to complete the current cycle you're in first. Because you, are, you have a divine partnership coming in that is going to lead to extreme happiness. I'm telling you what. But you're going to have to deal with some pain first. You're going to have to accept the pain and you're going to have to move on from the pain. And then comes a new beginning. You will receive that pot of gold at the end of that rainbow. You will. But it's about you finding the, the strength to go through this rebirth, even if it's scary, even if it hurts. So if you are single and you have doubt with the pain... There's an opportunity for love here. No kidding. That can lead to something very solid, committed, long term. If you are coupled and you are struggling or if you have just gotten out of a relationship and you are single and you're still holding on emotionally, you have some work to do. Okay? You have to realize that there is a better suitor. Especially with that lover's card. There is. There is. And that means that you are going to have to move away from the current situation and face and deal with the pain. To get to this better suitor. It's a, it's a perfect match. Waiting for you to accept it. No kidding. So, it looks to me like you guys have been blocking a new opportunity. And the new opportunity is ready for you to see it. There's an opportunity for love here. If somebody could just focus on the new and not the old. <clears throat> Well, look at that. Calling in your soulmate. Your prayers, affirmations, and visualizations help bring you together. You're going to get what you deserve. But you have to keep paddling away. From the troubled waters. You have to get out of this situation. You have to. Before you, I mean... What happens if, I mean, it's not good under there, okay? Just go. Clearly decide what you want so that it comes to you now. Make that decision. The justice card is about a decision. So isn't the lovers. 
You have to make a choice. This is a decision as well. You have to make a choice. Do you want to stay stuck in a spot that is troublesome? It's a bunch of freaking trouble. Do you? Where you're not getting any reciprocation? Is that what you want? Or do you want to go in a towards a person that is going to put in effort, who is a hard worker, and it could lead to something really really I mean forever by the looks of I mean I, I hate to say forever because you never know but very long term happy family abundance I mean though everything everything the best possible outcome is here for you okay it is but you have to you have to accept it you have to accept it and deal with some pain so clearly decide what you want because you have a soulmate that is so perfect for you waiting to enter your life. If you are ready for this, it's here. If you're still crying over the what's been lost, then you have to move away. That's all there is to it. So that's what I have, Scorpio, for this week. It's about making a big decision. Do you want this new passionate beginning or not? It's up to you. Good luck.